Hi, in a previous video, we have seen what is the least number that needs to be subtracted to form a perfect square number. In this video, we will see what is the least number that needs to be added to a given number to form a perfect square number. Let's see this through an example. Find the least number that must be added to 1300 so as to get a perfect square number. This is sure that 1300 is not a perfect square number and we need to add a number, a least number to 1300 so that the resultant number is a perfect square number. Okay, how do we do this? We will try to find the square root of 1300 using the division method. So the first thing is to form the pairs starting from the ones digit and moving left. Then it is 3, 3's three are 3 square is 9 and we add a 3 here again to get a 6. Now we take down both the zeros and we see that 66, 6's are 396. We get 4 as the remainder and here whatever we have put in this block has to be added again to give us a 72 here. So we see that 1300, when we try to find the square root by the division method, we get 4 as the remainder. So there are two ways to find the perfect square number. One is by subtracting 4 from 1300 and we get the square number which is square of 36. But in this question, we have to tell what is the least number that has to be added. So if there is a 4 remaining here, how much more we need to add so that we get the next square number, the square. So what do we do is we find the square of the number which is one more than our quotient which is 36. So one more than 36 is 37. And we try to find the square of 37. So 37 square gives us a 1369. And how much do we have? We have a 1300. So if we add a 69 which is obtained by subtracting 1300 from 1369, then 69 is the least number that has to be added. So I hope this is clear to everyone. What is this? We found the square root of 1300 using the division method. We got the quotient as 36. We took one more than 36 which is 37. We found the square of 37 which is 1369. So we know that in 1300 we need to add 69 to get a perfect square number which is 1369 and the square root of that perfect square number is nothing but 37. Let us see one word problem. A gardener has thousand plants. He wants to plant these in such a way that the number of rows and number of columns remains the same. Find the minimum number of plants he needs for this. Okay. So we have number of rows and number of columns as equal. So if there are x rows, there are x columns. Okay. So the total number of plants which we can put here is x square. Correct. And how many plants are we having? We are having 1000 plants. 1000 is not a perfect square number. So let us see how much more we need to add to 1000 so that they fill in this complete space. So what we do is we find out the square root of 1000. And we are left with the 39 as the remainder. We need to find how many more plants do we need to add. Okay, so we will take the next number of 31 which is 32. So 32 square will be 1024. So to fill in this complete square of x by x, we need 1024 plants. So how much are the extra plants do we need to fill in this space completely are 
one zero two four minus thousand, which are twenty four more plants needed. I hope this is clear to everyone. It was given that a gardener is having thousand plants, and he has to fill in a x by x grid. So if he tries to put in all those thousand plants, he will see that some of the places are still empty. So how much more plants he need to put here so that the complete x by x block is filled? So we found the square root of thousand. We got thirty one as the quotient. We took one more than the quotient, which is thirty two, and found the next square number as one zero two four. If we want want this place to be filled, then we need twenty four more plants, which is obtained by subtracting the given number thousand from one thousand and twenty four. So, if you have any doubts regarding these two questions, you can send me an email at kirti dot math academy at gmail dot com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.